En Seattle me encuentro con el coach de bateo de los Mex de Nueva York, el señor Shirley Davis. Hola, how are you today? Bien, ¿y tú? Muy bien, gracias. Gracias. Shirley, tell me a little bit about this team in the second half. You now you guys are trying to do something to get results different from what the first half had for you guys. So, le digo, los Mets están ahora uh, tratando en la segunda mitad de tener un plan diferente para tener mejores resultados de los que obtuvieron en la primera mitad de la temporada. Well, you know, I uh, I wish that we would have played better the first half, but what happened the first half with us was we couldn't put, we didn't seem to be able to put good pitching and good hitting together at the same time. Uh, we had games where we hit well, didn't pitch well, then we had games where we pitch well and didn't hit well. So I think the second half we're trying to blend them or sync them so that You know, we can uh, finish the season on a strong note. You never know what will happen, but if we can put it all together, the, our pitchers, I think, are throwing the ball a lot better than they did the first half. Not saying that they threw it bad, but they're starting to pitch a lot better. And, you know, offensively, we're just trying to support them with some good offense. Los Mets, él desea que los Mets hubiesen jugado mucho mejor en la primera mitad de la temporada, pero ahora están con un plan de, de tratar de, de ver si algo que en la primera temporada no consiguieron, que fue juntar el buen picheo con el buen bateo. En algunos juegos bateaba mucho, pero el picheo no los ayudaba, y, y en unos juegos el picheo fue, era estelar, pero entonces el bateo no se encontraba. Él quiere ver si ahora el picheo, que no dice que está mal, pero que ahora está siendo mejor de lo que antes era y, y que los muchachos están empezando defensivamente y ofensivamente a jugar mucho mejor. Dice que ellos quieren terminar la temporada fuerte, pero que nunca se sabe lo que puede pasar. Entonces no descarta que los Mets puedan hacer muchas cosas buenas ahora en esta segunda mitad de la temporada. <laughs> you being the hitting coach, I have to ask. Last night, Robinson Cano had a historic night in his career, three homers. So, uh, you, has he changed his mechanics or whatever? So, anoche Robinson Cano tuvo un juego histórico, dio tres honrones por primera vez en su carrera. Y él es el coach de, de bateo. Entonces, vamos a ver si él sabe que si Robbie está cambiando sus mecánicas o lo que sea. Well, you know, Robbie is, I look at Robbie as a future Hall of Famer. And, um, He's still Robinson Cano, regardless of if he gets four hits tonight or no hits tonight. Uh, he's still one of my favorite hitters to watch hit. Um, the first half, I, you know, he struggled early in, the, in a little bit in the first half, but it seemed like at times he started to swing the bat well, and then he kept getting hit on the hand, getting hit on the hand. And, you know, he's a, he's a gamer, and I know that it affected his, his ability to – swing the bat the way he can and he wouldn't say anything about it you know he knew he had he felt like he had to be in the lineup well i think now he's starting to feel better um and he's starting to feel a lot more aggressive and a more potent with his swing um the great thing i love about robbie is robbie communicates real well he, he enjoys talking to you about what he feels and what he's trying to feel so it makes my job easy to to listen to him and to try to help him get to the where he wants to get to Yesterday he had batting practice, and he, I mean, he had an ex, the best batting practice I've seen him have all year. And I didn't say anything to him. He looked at me and he goes, primo, primo, that's the best batting practice I've had all year. And I just acknowledged and I said, yeah, that was really nice. That was agradable, you know. And uh, he looks at me and he goes, yep, I'm think, I think I'm going to have a good game. And he did. So Robinson Cano knows Robinson Cano. And when he says, hey, I feel good, then I tend to want to sit here and see what happens. And what happened last night was really no surprise to me. Um, that's the kind of hitter that he, I've always known Robbie to be. You know, he's a, he's a clutch guy, he's a tough out, and he's, a, he's an extraordinary hitter. Bueno, para Chile, Robinson Cano es un jugador que pertenece, pertenecerá en el Salón de la Fama. Y dice, Robinson Cano sigue siendo Robinson Cano, aunque de cuatro hits o que no de ninguno. Él dice que Robinson es un bateador extraordinario y que él entiende que en la primera mitad él estaba teniendo en algunos momentos que empezaba a batear bien, pero seguían dándole en la mano, él seguía siendo golpeado en la mano. Entonces para él dice que 
Robinson le gusta comunicarse, que es algo que hace que el trabajo de Chile sea más eh, bueno y, y mejor, porque él puede comunicarse con él y ver lo que trabaja y lo que no trabaja para él. Si Cano se siente bien o mal, él lo comunica. También dice que anoche, ayer eh, Cano tuvo una práctica de bateo que fue increíble. Según él, la mejor que ha visto a Cano tenerla. Y él lo supo como coach y Cano lo supo como jugador. Y sabía que iba a tener un juego increíble. Y solo se sentó a esperarlo y vieron el, el tremendo juego que, que pudo tener. Cano, entonces él dice que Cano conoce a Cano y sabe cuando está bien y cuando no está bien. So chilly. I heard that you like Johnny Ventura music a lot. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah, you see, I got my connect. Uh, so, any particular Johnny Ventura song that you know? So, él es fanático de Johnny Ventura. Él está diciendo aquí de que, que no, pero a mí ya me contaron todo. So, well, you have to understand, I'm Jamaican, <laughs> okay? So I like a lot of different music. Um, I'm starting to, you know, because of being around baseball and being around a lot of Latin players, and Latin music has evolved from the salsa, merengue, the, you know, that, that type of music where you might hear a certain type of uh, music in Mexico, you might go to Puerto Rico hear a certain type of music, Dominican Republic. Now it's kind of all blending, and it's also added uh, a blend of hip hop and reggae and You know, now it's reggaeton, you know, so I like a lot of music and I'm starting to even like country music, which is, you know, incredible. Yeah, but, um, you know, uh, the Latin music has a, a, a total different feel and sound and beat and, and, and groove and vibe and whatever you want to call it. So, you know, Johnny Ventura is just one of the artists I like. I don't really know the names of the songs. You know, I listen to Ozuna, I listen to... Uh, You know, I can't even name the artist, but they're they're Nicky Jam. You know, <laughs> I mean, I listen to a lot of uh, different music because of the players that you're around. You know, you, uh, a lot of the guys from the the some areas like country music, and I thought I'd never like country music, but I start hearing more and more country music, and I think to myself, that's not bad. I like that song. You know, well, you know, from being around David David Ortiz was a big influence in a lot of the. Uh, uh, music the latin music that i like because david had he would come in the cage and just you know put his own music on just for his workout and i'd sit there and go you know poppy who sings that song you know <laughs> and he'd tell you who sings it and you know you, you know, nowadays you can just go download a song from uh, on your computer or your iphone so it's a lot easy to pick songs that you hear and you like and 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 download them put them on a playlist and and play them so um What's the song I was looking, listening to the other day? Como le doy something. Um, uh, you, you know what I'm saying? You know that song? That's not a good one, though. No, uh, it's, it's, <laughs> but, but, it's, but it's, you know, it's got a good beat. And, you know, the <laughs> and, and Travisuro. Travisuro is a good song I like. Um, uh, there's, there's a lot of songs there, you know. Um, <laughs> I don't want to sing the song because you said it's not a good one, but I have my favorite. <laughs> Entonces, él me dice que como él siendo jamaiquino, él ha tenido, eh, ha estado expuesto en siendo en el mundo de, de la pelota con muchos latinos y que su música y su gusto musical se ha desarrollado mucho. Él ha escuchado, ya le gusta el merengue, la salsa, le gustan los beats, le gusta el sonido que tiene. Entonces dice que la influencia han sido muchos los peloteros, en especial David Ortiz, porque cuando David Ortiz llegaba a, a batear, él llevaba su propia música y era música buena y él le preguntaba como, David, ¿qué, ¿quién canta esa canción? Y, y lo miraba. Dice que ahora él, él está aquí con los muchachos y él, él pensó que nunca le iba a gustar la música country y oye que los, algunos batean con ella y escucha la canción y le gusta. Eh, él le gusta el reggaeton, el fanático de Nicky Jam porque le gusta travesuras. You know, Eric Thame from the Milwaukee Brewers told me that's his jam. Travesuras by Nicky Jam. Sí, so le gusta a Nicky Jam igual que a Eric Thames de, de Milwaukee. So... But you didn't want to sing anything in Spanish, but you got to bust out some, some Spanish words for me. So I do I this. You. Oh, you do? Did you do? Mami Are you going to do Mami, que lo que que es el negro. <laughs> Cami, mami, que será, que lo que es el negro. <laughs> that's, that's the first Spanish song I've ever heard. No, I, I mean, you know, um, I like a lot of different things. I'm very versatile with, with my music. Um, If my preference would be, you know, my native music, uh, reggae. I love reggae. Uh, I, I love jazz. Um, I like old rock and roll. And um, I like some hip-hop. Um, 
and like I said, I'm more into the beat than the lyrics sometimes. Um, uh, you know, but I like I like some hip hop. Uh, I'm starting to like country, and and like I said, the Latin music is 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 it's not the same Latin music that you heard back in the '70s and '80s. You know, nowadays it's a blend of uh, hip hop, Latin music, uh, reggae. You know, and it's got little verses of each in it. Uh, which really uh, uh, accentuates the whole song, you know. Bueno, dice que él como como él le gusta mucho la música de todo tipo, pero que le gusta, prefiere la sunativa música de de Jamaica que es el reggae, pero le gusta también el jazz y que dice que algo importante es que la música latina que se escucha en estos años no es la misma música latina que se escucha en los años anteriores. Entonces, ahora es todo mezclado, tiene un poquito de reggaeton, un poquito de hip hop y todo eso y por eso le gusta. Well, Shelly, ha sido un placer. Sí, es mi placer. Gracias por la entrevista. De nada. Amigos, esta fue la entrevista con Chili Davis.